Over the past seven years, we've tried to build a truly custom, premium bike brand. Custom geometries, only the best materials, and nothing is off the peg. So, you're probably wondering, why the hell are we prepping skis? It's gonna work. Yeah, we're gonna come out and do it. Yeah, I know it's minus 17. It'll be all right, we've got loads of gear. It's gonna be absolutely fine. I'll see you in a couple of days. This is the Col du Isoard. This incredible mountain stands at 2,360 meters in height, and the road climb is 19 kilometers in length. As you can probably see, the mountain is covered in snow in January and completely unrideable. But in true Spoon Customs fashion, we're going to give it a go anyway. The idea is simple. Ride as far as the road lets us. Stash our bikes by the side of the road, then ski tour up the rest of the way, past the refuge Napoleon, to the summit finish. Just going to head down here to Brianza, through the, through the town, and then to the foot of Isuard, and then it's 45k to the top. Do it. Let's do it. It's almost like this is a crazy time of year to go. But you've got to have a bit of fun with you on an adventure. This is Brianson Old Town. It's the UNESCO World Heritage Site. From here we've got the base of Col du Isoard, and then from in that direction we've got Col du Lotteret, then Galibier, over the top to Telegraph. This way we have the road to Gap, down to Riesel, Galestra. Some of the best riding in the world starts right here. This area is steeped with history from past tour winners. Shrines of Bernard Hinault litter the industrial roads up to the climb. A reminder of how much inspiration we drew from this place just seven years ago. Strapped with skis, poles, boots, helmet, and all our safety gear, our entire load came to around 35 kilos, which normally isn't too bad. But the average 6% gradient soon started to take its toll. His idea was this. I blame you. <laughs> I blame you. From this point, it would normally take us an hour and a half to get to the refuge Napoleon. But the combination of black ice and our heavy loads means we're averaging six kilometers per hour. This is proper sketchy now. Do we, do we just walk up a little bit? How do you feel about the black ice? Not a fan. I've got no weight on my front wheel. One thing we soon realized is that the deeper into the mountain we got, the more black ice started to appear making it impossible to corner at anything more than walking pace. Feels like anything would be faster. So we guess it's time to ditch the bikes and get skiing. It should take an hour to ski to Refuge Napoleon. From there, it's straight up to the deep, powder-covered summit at 2,363 meters. Oh yeah, and this is Rocky, Ben's Husky. He'll be joining us for the rest of this trip. Fresh snowfall last night makes the quicker route too dangerous, but despite temperatures of minus 17 degrees, we eventually make it to Refuge Napoleon. This place is worlds apart from how it looks during the Tour de France. Barely recognizable. But after a quick rest stop and an espresso at the restaurant, we're back on our skis to the top of the climb. Since 2015, everything we've done has been inspired by this place. We are Spoon Custom, and this is our story. 